Over 1,300 Illinoisans die from gun violence each year, and a freshman state lawmaker hopes to address the rise in gun violence by allowing anyone to sue the dealers, importers, or manufacturers of guns used to injure or kill someone. Representative Margaret Croak is using the same legal logic that Texas lawmakers had for the anti-abortion legislation. She says Illinoisans should have the ability to sue anyone who put guns into the wrong hands. WGEM's Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich has details. Anyone in Texas can currently sue someone for helping a person get an abortion. The civil suit is triggered by the abortion after six weeks. In our case, the civil suit is triggered by the unlawful bodily injury that occurs from the gun. The proposed change would not cover situations where a gun is used for self-defense or gang violence. Croak wants this bill to address illegal gun transfers that lead to more violence. So what would happen if a teenager shot and killed someone? How did they get that gun? Did they get it from someone who purchased it legally from a gun shop and then that person transferred it over? In this case, we would be able to sue the person, the straw dealer, um, who transferred the gun over to the 16-year-old. However, Republicans feel this is more of a political statement than a strong proposal to address gun violence. No matter what the response is, it's, it's a slippery slope to go down to start putting more and more prosecution, really, honestly, in, in you know, private rights of action. And Croak knows this is an uphill battle. A 2005 federal law gives gun manufacturers and dealers immunity from lawsuits in federal and state court. This is a certain situation where we would be challenging federal law, and I'm okay with that because if you don't challenge bad laws, they will never change. Under this proposal, claimants winning lawsuits could receive injunctive relief and damages of no less than $10,000 to each person injured or killed by a gun dealt by the liable party. Having everything go through civil right of action just, just really... Uh, is not the way to do it. That's that's why we have entities such as you know prosecutors and state's attorneys and and justice departments and things like this to do investigations and prosecute people and things like that. And again, that was WGEM's Mike Militich reporting. And leaders from the Illinois State Rifle Association say that they strongly oppose this bill. The proposal was just filed Tuesday, so it obviously has a long way to go before anyone takes a vote.